Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some popular health topics and myths, but with a twist. We'll be exploring each of these ideas through the lens of the carnivore diet and ancestral human diets. You may have heard claims that fiber is essential, that you need carbs to refuel your muscles, or that nuts and seeds are superfoods for everyone. But are these beliefs actually backed by science? Or could there be a different perspective rooted in our evolutionary history? In this video, we'll break down six common nutrition topics with a focus on what the latest research says, along with insights from the dietary patterns of our ancient ancestors. Whether you're curious about optimizing your health, considering a carnivore lifestyle, or just questioning what's truly best for our bodies, stick around. You might be surprised by what you learn. Let's jump right in. Myth 1. You've likely heard that fiber is critical for gut health, but science reveals that this may not be as essential as we've been told. Fiber is often promoted to help with digestion by increasing bowel movements and promoting a healthy microbiome. However, research suggests that fiber isn't the only way to achieve a healthy gut, and it might actually cause digestive discomfort for some people, including bloating, gas, and constipation. When you eat a diet centered on nutrient-dense animal foods, your gut health can thrive without the fermentation of fibers that often cause gas and irritation. Studies involving individuals with irritable bowel syndrome IBS, have shown that many experience digestive relief when they significantly reduce or eliminate fiber. Furthermore, research has found that regularity doesn't always depend on fiber. Many people report better digestion and comfort with a low-fiber animal-based diet. Looking at the diets of early humans, they often consumed minimal fiber, focusing instead on animal foods. Many of these populations thrived with healthy digestion despite their lack of fiber intake. This suggests that, with a well-balanced diet of nutrient-rich animal foods, you can maintain optimal gut health even without fiber. Takeaway. A diet based on nutrient-rich animal foods can support excellent digestive health without the need for fiber, especially for those who find that fiber aggravates their digestion. Myth 2. Nuts and seeds are often marketed as healthy snacks because they contain fats, fiber, and minerals, but they might not be as ideal as they seem. These foods contain natural defense compounds like phytic acid and lectins, substances plants produce to protect themselves from predators. These compounds can interfere with your body's ability to absorb key minerals like calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Phytic acid, for example, binds with minerals in the digestive tract, making it difficult for your body to absorb them. This effect can increase the risk of mineral deficiencies especially if you're not getting enough nutrients from other sources. Lectins found in certain nuts and seeds can irritate the gut lining, leading to inflammation and discomfort. For many, reducing or eliminating nuts and seeds from the diet may ease these issues, as research supports the bioavailability of nutrients in animal-based foods. Historically, nuts and seeds were not consumed in large amounts. They were seasonal, harder to gather, and more difficult to digest compared to animal foods. By focusing on nutrient-dense animal sources, you get essential vitamins and minerals without the risk of anti-nutrients found in plants. Takeaway. Although nuts and seeds contain some nutrients, their anti-nutritional properties can reduce mineral absorption. A diet based on nutrient-dense animal foods is often easier to digest and doesn't come with these challenges. Myth 3. Many believe that you need fruits and vegetables for potassium and magnesium, but a well-planned animal-based diet can provide these minerals if you choose the right foods. Potassium and magnesium are crucial for muscle function, nerve health, and maintaining electrolyte balance. You can find both in a range of animal foods such as beef, lamb, fish, and particularly in organ meats like liver. Bone broth, a staple for many who follow an ancestral diet, also provides minerals from the bones used to make it. Additionally, seafood, especially shellfish, is rich in magnesium and offers a great alternative to plant-based sources. This approach mirrors the nutrient intake of early humans, who met their mineral needs by consuming organs, bones, and marrow from animals, rather than relying on plant sources. By incorporating these varied animal foods, you can achieve sufficient potassium and magnesium without relying on plant foods. Research shows that these minerals are often better absorbed when coming from animal sources, supporting the body's ability to maintain electrolyte balance and overall health. Takeaway: With the right selection of nutrient-dense animal foods, you can cover your potassium and magnesium needs while enhancing mineral absorption and supporting your body's electrolyte balance. Myth 4. It's often said that you need carbohydrates to restore muscle glycogen, especially after a workout. 
but the body actually has a built-in method for replenishing glycogen without carbs. When you're on a low-carb diet, your liver converts proteins and fats into glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis, which helps maintain your body's glycogen levels. Research on low-carb and ketogenic diets has shown that people can maintain adequate glycogen levels and physical performance without carbohydrates. The body adapts to use fat as its primary fuel, achieving a state known as fat adaptation. This shift to using fat and ketones for energy allows for stable, sustained performance even during high-intensity activities. Elite athletes who train on low-carb diets demonstrate that they can rely on fat-based fuel without carbohydrate loading. Historically, humans didn't consume carbohydrates regularly or in large quantities, yet they thrived with the energy needed for hunting and endurance. This metabolic flexibility is key and supports the idea that carbohydrates aren't essential for glycogen replenishment or physical performance. Takeaway. Your body doesn't need carbs to replenish muscle glycogen. By focusing on protein and fat, you can still restore glycogen levels and maintain energy for physical activity, thanks to the body's natural metabolic processes. Myth 5. Stable isotope testing has given us significant insights into ancient diets by analyzing the isotopic composition of bones. This scientific method shows us what our ancestors ate, and the evidence points heavily toward animal proteins as the main component of early human diets. Stable isotope testing analyzes elements like nitrogen and carbon in bone collagen, which can reveal whether a diet was primarily animal-based or plant-based. Results from isotope testing consistently show that many early human populations relied extensively on animal foods. This finding supports the idea that human physiology evolved to thrive on a diet rich in animal proteins. While no scientific test is without some limitations, stable isotope analysis remains a reliable and widely used method in archaeology and anthropology for understanding ancestral diets. In addition to nitrogen and carbon ratios, Testing includes analyses that measure protein sources, showing the dominance of animal protein in early human diets, especially among populations in colder climates where plant food was scarce. These findings challenge the modern assumption that early humans ate high quantities of plants and indicate that humans are physiologically well-suited for animal-based diets. Takeaway. Stable isotope testing remains one of the most reliable tools we have for understanding ancestral diets, confirming that animal-based eating was fundamental to early human nutrition. Myth 6. Food impacts more than just your daily health. It can even affect your gene expression, a concept known as epigenetics. Epigenetics studies how food and lifestyle can influence which genes are activated or suppressed without altering your DNA sequence. Nutrients found in animal foods like choline, vitamin B12, omega-3 fatty acids, and complete proteins play a significant role in this process by supporting cellular and genetic health. For example, choline and omega-3, found in eggs, fish, and organ meats, have been shown to support brain health and potentially reduce age-related cognitive decline by promoting beneficial gene expression. Studies also indicate that amino acids from high-quality animal proteins support muscle growth, repair, and metabolism, enhancing gene expression related to these processes. Epigenetic research suggests that diets rich in animal-based nutrients align well with our genetic design, promoting longevity and resilience. Early human diets, which included nutrient-dense animal foods, may have influenced gene expression over generations, contributing to the evolution of genetic pathways that promote survival and health. By consuming foods that are closer to our evolutionary diet, you could support your health at a genetic level, activating pathways associated with anti-inflammatory and protective effects. Takeaway. The food you eat can affect gene expression. By focusing on nutrient-rich animal foods, you may be supporting genetic pathways that enhance health, connecting you to dietary patterns that align with human evolution.